Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take with this. Leave the rest out. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. I hope you had a wonderful day. All right. We have a win-win outcome as forecast with Believe in the Impossible. So things may seem very unclear in your current environment. Uh, almost feels like, you know, nothing really makes sense, right? But it's like the universe is about to balance things out uh, in regards to you in the situation. Things are about to uh, change in such a, almost a, a miraculous way here, okay? So I'm really feeling this almost uh, miracle vibe happening here. We have external party, karmic contracts, family finances, or interference and stress with renew and adventure. Okay, return of passions and play. So uh, there could be uh, legal issues, uh, family dynamics, marriage, anything like that in between this connection. And things may seem impossible before, but spirit is saying believe in the impossible. Because even though your environment, it looks like there's nothing that can be done, things are about to shift here, okay? Overall energy, nine of cups. This is about wish fulfillment here, as well as uh, pleasure, enjoyment, understanding, uh, understanding uh, exactly who you want uh, and in regards to this person, knowing who they want. So let's see what's going on in your energy. Strength, four of swords, eight of pen. I just heard, I'm tired of being comfortable. So as well, the nine of cups can be a comfortable zone, right? Because, uh, you know, it's just what makes things okay. The status quo as well. So uh, somebody's definitely feeling like, you know, they're tired of being in a comfort zone, wanting to step out of the box here. Strength, four of swords, eight of pentacles. So I see this week, uh, in regards to just your life in general, I'm picking up that you are not only a very hard worker, right? But you crave balance and stability, right? And it seems like there's been a lot of situations that have come up quite recently that have disturbed your balance. Uh, and in regards to this person, it's kind of like, you know, you, you could never quite get your footing. You can never right, quite get the balance that you wanted from this connection and kind of see like why you had to weigh out your options. You know, why am I in this? It's not really doing me any good. I'm more stressed than I, I was when I was without this person, yet I do care about this person. So you really are just focused on yourself now. And for those of you that are actually um, gearing towards working uh, on a business uh, adventure here, or uh, you have something that you're taking action on that you finally decide to take action on, uh, keep going because there is a lot of abundance coming from that. Uh, if you just keep doing what you're doing here, I see good things coming towards your direction. Uh, you really are, in a sense, uh, you are so courageous, Capricorn. And I just have to say this uh, because I'm seeing here that you've dealt with a lot. Uh, just from people that have meant a lot to you in your life. And you are really that sta uh, stability factor, okay, in everyone's life. You're that person that they always count on. And you really have uh, kind of stayed solid for yourself as well. I, I really see that uh, there's an admiration coming from other people. And to keep going, keep your head up because some people I'm noticing uh, may take a look at that and try to push you down uh, and create problems or drama when there's not needed. Uh, and they're doing that on purpose. Uh, but it's just because uh, you are looked at as somebody that uh, is like a rock, right? You really go full steam ahead and you're very loving as well as solid here. Very down to earth, okay? So... Now I'll get off my soapbox and let's go into the other person's energy. Sorry about that. 
But I just, I'm seeing just an admiration from people. And some people are loyal, but others, they try to ruffle your feathers a little bit. And Spirit's just kind of telling me here, you know, hang in there. Uh, it's not because... It's not because you've done anything wrong. In fact, you're on the right path in every way here. And uh, sometimes people will do things uh, that they even feel bad for, okay, that they know they shouldn't be doing. All right. Three of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Again, there is a third party in this situation. We have two threes and the Hanged Man. This person is having trouble. Uh, their heart is breaking from afar here. The fact that there is distance between you uh, could be physical or just uh, in regards to communication. They feel like their hands are tied. They can't quite get to you here. It's really hurting them. They feel like they're suffering in silence. Uh, and it's bothering them that they haven't really made a choice. Uh, they feel kind of stuck. They know they need to make a choice. But they need to release something that uh, has kind of been long over for them. Uh, possibly a responsibility here I'm seeing because they feel really tied to it, almost as if it's a duty, okay? But uh, they, they're they missing you a lot in this Three of Swords, Three of Wands. It's almost like, you know, they have to suffer in silence because they can't tell anyone about this. Uh, so if it's a third party, there might be a, um, a secret factor here, you know, because you cannot... Uh, explain the other situation to the other person, right? Tell this Three of Swords, please. Hermit, Three of Cups. Yeah, longing for your attention, longing for your love here. This person's got you on their, their mind 24-7. They're really feeling like, I really want to be out of my situation, but I don't know how to do it here. I know I need to step up and, and do this finally. Because it looks like this has gone on for a while. Uh, that, and if it's a third party, it's showing you're, you are fully aware of this here. Let's see what's gone on in the past. Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun card. You both have had to suffer in silence here. It seems like uh, as you got together, you might have gotten together at a time where... Uh, it's almost like your hands were tied in both environments. It was just the wrong timing, although you both couldn't quite let go of each other. This person can't let go of you. Even if you think it's over or this person's not coming back, uh, they can't let you go. It's something that, like, it's just such an unbreakable bond, they feel like, uh, for them. And they know that you are something that kind of crossed their path in their life that's been such a blessing. And how they can see something dangling in from front of their face and they can't quite have it okay because they know that they're being pushed almost uh, they feel like this energetic push that they need to make a decision and they kind of uh, failed to do that in the past in fact they ended up failing to do that as well as neglecting your needs here so there is a sense of feeling bad about how you were treated in the situation as well. Tell me the Seven of Pentacles, please. Five of Pentacles, yeah, not having enough to give. This person, you know, I'm just like, my stomach is in knots here. I, it's, I'm feeling like a pain here, Capricorn, that, uh, you know, it's like you can't have what your heart desires, right? Because of certain circumstances in an environment. Um, and it's really, it's really tough, right? Because you can't help who, what your heart wants as well as who you love. And it's like one of those things, you know, you want to be, do the right thing, but is that what's going to make you happy to do that, to please someone else, to do your due diligence? It's kind of how this person's looked at it is, I'm going to keep doing my due diligence and they're seeing that they have a responsibility that could be many years down the line before they even get a chance to be with you here. So it's a big move. This is something that this person needs to step up and just make the decision, not for anyone else, but for themselves, because I'm picking up too, there could be uh, money issues or 
uh, even children in the mix where they feel like they have to raise them or they have to um, be there until they're a certain age. There's like a timing here. This person really feels it doesn't have to be uh, for everyone. Just a select few here I'm picking up. But there are for some financial issues too where they're afraid to lose their stability in regards to uh, their financial status here. So let's see the challenge. Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Temperance. Yeah, this person uh, needed to walk away from what was no longer serving them for a long time. It's been dead and over for a very long time. It's almost as if uh, they refused to do this uh, because of responsibility. And again, as well as uh, we have finances coming up, being able to keep up with the Joneses, basically. But it's like they couldn't get rid of you. Even though it was harder on them to have you on have you in their life because they couldn't, their heart was torn. They couldn't be with you the way they wanted to. They couldn't talk to you as much as they wanted to here. Uh, but at the same time, they didn't really fully explain to you. You might have known the situation, but they didn't explain to you details. Okay, so kind of let you sit there suffering in silence, thinking. Well, are they just actually keeping me on the side or do they really want something uh, more in the future? Because there's no talks of when this will end or where the, where this is headed in the future. Tell me this temperance card, please. Queen of Wands. Yeah, it was very unstable. It was hard. Again, like I saw in the present moment. It was hard to get your grippings about you in this. And you have this unique way, Capricorn, I'm seeing, that you tend to get, you know, if things are rough, even in other people's situations, you tend to be the person that kind of is the glue that makes everything kind of smooth over. Uh, you're the person everyone runs to to make sure that things go um, okay, everything's copacetic. And you just couldn't quite get your grippings in the situation. And it became frustrating, right? You, there was no balance to this. And there was a lot of patience required on your side as well as this person to stay in this uh, for the time that it, you know, progressed here. And, you know, it was, you, you kept in it. I mean, even the Eight of Pentacles, you put a lot of effort in. Right? You dedicated yourself as much as possible because you just looked at the long goal here. You saw the light at the end of the tunnel and you thought if you kept going and you gave this person a lot of leeway too, I'm seeing. Right? Because you knew the situation. Tell me this Eight of Cups, please. Knight of Cups, yeah. Going after what the heart wants instead of uh, just being stuck in a situation where, you know, they're unhappy here. It's like it was already over even before you got in this. Uh, it seems like they were done. But they were staying in it because they were not only were they comfortable, right? But they were afraid to make a move and because they were going to lose something here. Whether it's, you know, actual children, finances, it's going to be different for everyone. Uh, but the core is the same, okay? So let's see what action they're going to take here. Oh my goodness. What? Capricorn. <laughs> goodness. We have Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Two of Cups. This is returning to an opportunity, returning to their love. Their heart uh, cannot deny themselves anymore. The heart wants what it wants, which is you in this connection. Uh, here we have returning to a place where their feelings, uh, it's like, again, the Nine of Cups, where they feel so emotionally fulfilled. They feel like you are their wish fulfillment here. This is being happy. Uh, it's not quite the 10 because they haven't really made that decision yet. But this is coming forward, giving this opportunity. So that you're going to get a text message or a phone call here. Just them reaching out. However you used to communicate mostly is what I'm picking up with the Six of Cups. Returning to a way of communication. And this is expressing emotions, opening up and talking to you about this love that they cannot deny here. Okay. So if this reading is resonating with you, this is exciting. Uh, we are going to go over uh, exactly what they're going to say 
what action they're going to take after this, okay? Where this is headed as well as the timing and the outcome. But other than that, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.